152 class. This is a video to show you how to load data into Stack Crunch or Excel, depending on which one you have. Uh, we all have Stack Crunch. It comes with the software for the course. And then if you have Excel, you can always uh, load it into Excel if you'd rather work with it. Uh, I did a homework problem similar to this uh, for your, just, just for the Ask My Instructor question responses. But I wanted to do one here also for just stack crunch because the question was specifically about stack crunch. So um, when you see um, these tables for your data is going to be housed over here to the right, there's a little box. And when you have that little box, you click the little box and it'll give you options. Copy to clipboard, open in Excel, open in stack crunch. So we want to open in stack crunch if we don't have Excel on our computer. If you have Excel, you can just download a um, copy of the data set in Excel and it'll, it'll open it for you. But we can click open in Stack Crunch and it'll take it a second and there is the data in Stack Crunch. Now, this is the thing that we're after. This uh, data set right here. This is now loaded in there and we can then do the same types of things that we can in Stack Crunch as we can in Excel. So for instance, I can come up here and click data and then I can click sort and then tell it what I want to sort, uh, sort by home volts, sort ascending. So that means it's going to go from lowest to highest, compute it. All right. And then there is my new table sorted with the lowest value at the top and the biggest value down at the bottom. Okay. That is, uh, a very common thing that you need to do when you are doing a problem like this where you have to fill in a frequency table of values or you know, where they fall in there because now we can see how many fall in between these two numbers okay uh, if we didn't do that we would have to go through and, and just manually um, count these values but anyway the question was initially how do I find how do I get the data the uh, data into stack crunch where I don't have to manually go in and, and do all this which would take forever and especially remember your test or time you wouldn't want to have to do that so the answer is find this little box right here and just click open in uh, Excel or open in stack crunch if you want to use the software provided if you have Excel you just click open in Excel it will download then a, a file right here for you and you click that and then Excel will open it and as you can see we have the same data set. I'm going to bring it down here. Uh, Excel has the same features as Stack Crunch, just in different places. So you highlight your data set, sort again, and then sort from smallest to largest. Uh, this just includes what days when you do the sort. So instead of this still being one, day one moved down here, day six moved up here. So all of them got switched around by home bolts. Uh, but it, it's sometimes this column matters, other times it doesn't. But the important thing is we have the, the data sorted the way it needs to be now.